to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be looking at another topic and that topic is red palms. Red palms. So what happens when the hands go red? I've done another video, blue hands, and um, I encourage you to have a quick watch um, of that video as well. So red palms, what essentially are red palms or what happens when the hands go red? If you can see my hand, just around there is the thinner, those bulging areas of your palm. This area is referred to as the tenor, and that's the hypotenor eminences. These are essentially the areas that become red. So when we say um, red palms, we're saying that the palms ordinarily uh, don't look frank, frankly red, but when they become red, something may be going on that we need to discuss. And so if these areas that I've highlighted, the thena and the hypotenar eminences become red, we refer to that as palma erythema. Palma erythema. So why does this happen? Which conditions are associated with redness of the palm? Number one, pregnancy. Why does this occur? In pregnancy, the hormonal changes, specifically the raised level of estrogen, can be responsible for the redness in the palm. And why does that really happen again? Because once you have dilatation or widening of the capillaries, in the, in the body you have blood vessels, you have the arteries, you have the veins, you have the capillaries, which are uh, the smallest vessels, okay? Now, if these vessels, called the capillaries, become bigger or wider in diameter, you have more blood flow towards that area, and so it becomes red. So in pregnancy, you have raised level of estrogen, and so those palms become red. So if you're pregnant and you're watching this and you observe redness in your palms, don't be unduly scared. Now, it can also occur in patients that have liver disease, particularly what's referred to as cirrhosis. And again, why does this occur? Because of raised level of estrogen. It can occur in another condition called hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism simply refers to a condition where the thyroid gland, which is a small gland located at the front of the neck, becomes overactive. And so in patients that have hyperthyroidism, in addition to other manifestations, could also have redness of their palms. Another condition that can cause redness of the palm is rheumatoid arthritis, where there's an autoimmune problem where cells of the body now are attacking cells of the same body. The number of manifestations from articular manifestation, in other words, involvement of the joints to extra articular manifestations. I've done videos um, concerning rheumatoid arthritis. I encourage you to watch those videos as well. Other conditions, erythromelalgia. In this condition, there's burning pain, redness, and warmth of the hands and the feet. Medications such as topiramate. Topiramate is a medication that can be used for epilepsy. It's an anticonvulsant. It may also be used for patient, in patients that have migraine. And then environmental factors such as smoking, excessive alcohol use can also cause this condition. So how do you treat this condition? Of course, it depends on the cause. If it's due to, say, pregnancy, after delivery, it should resolve. So what a doctor simply needs to do is to identify the underlying cause and then treat. Once you're able to do that, you should resolve the underlying problem. If you've learned something today, uh, thank you. And I expect that you will take a few moments to subscribe before you go. Thanks. Bye.